Look, I know you're stressed out, but don't worry about it, because here's what's going to happen. We're going to get drunk and eat chicken fingers. Me, you, and the old man is going to be here in about 20 minutes. Ricky, life isn't about getting drunk and eating chicken fingers all the time, all right? Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, The Brain Cell. Along with Dolan, we got a special guest this week. It's Delco Hophead, aka Rick, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, man, we're chilling over here. He brought over some, uh, what did you bring over? I brought over some Alchemist, some Hill Farmstead. We got we're some crazy some shit. Tired hands right now, yeah. right? We got the uh, we got the latest drop, the raspberry green tea milkshake. That's and what refreshing. me and Dolan are drinking. And I'm I, having uh, a refreshing. I, uh, 94 degrees out. You know what's one of the coolest things on Instagram? When what's you make that? a comment and the brewery likes your comment. Oh yeah. Like it makes you feel like, oh shit. I love they, it. We're like reposting they, yeah, they acknowledge me. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I'm a Tired Hands fan, fanboy as you guys know. Mm -hmm. And uh, But even, even being a fanboy, like they barely ever have said anything to me. Right. But this week I posted the comment about being 94 degrees and refreshing would be refreshing. <laughs> they liked it. That's because they knew they were dropping refreshing. That's right. Yep. That's right. So that's great. Yeah, because I was like, man, what does he have, like, the an inside source? He gets these early or something? <laughs> the inside. Spend a little time there. I spent a little time. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they, uh, they've been doing a good job of, like, uh, putting the beer in cans a couple days before the release. So sometimes if you're there and they open up the fridge, you'll see what the next release oh, is. Okay, it's yeah. usually how it works for me. And so I saw the refreshing there. And the <laughs> refreshing was coming up. That's a staple, man. The refreshing is a staple, is staple at Tired Hands. Yeah, we were just uh, we were just having a conversation about breweries and the best breweries in the country. I don't know. It's it. I think number one's easy. Hill uh, Hill Farmstead. I don't I don't know that there's uh, much of an argument. Um, I don't know that you'll find anybody who would argue with that. And then I think after that, you know, there's uh, there's almost like categories of, of great beer. You know, it's like how do you not consider someone like um, you know uh, like Firestone Walker to be great beer? I mean, I don't know if you guys have tried their beer, I don't think it's so. but it's a shelfy, so no one considers it craft beer anymore because they're so big. Yeah, they make incredible beer, and then you know, then you've got you know smaller craft beer things like the on the West Coast, like Cellar Maker and Moonraker that we've been talking about, Monkish. Tired hands fits in that. What do you think house. about uh, Equilibrium? So Equilibrium makes great beer, but I, I was on their I, website and I was like, man, everything's like wheat beers, and I'm like, yeah. I don't like that. So they make great beer. They're 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 super hop. They're super uh, current on hops, so they use a lot of mosaic and a lot of citra, a lot of galaxy, like kind of the current hops. Yeah. And then the other thing, I think the only, the only reason that like they're I don't know what they do. But their beers are so sweet. All of their beers for me are sweet. Even something that they consider to be super hoppy ends up being too sweet. And so if you have that beer four or five weeks after production, it really drops off, really drops off. So you, Whereas you could drink a Tired Hands beer six, seven months after production, yeah. more than likely that beer is held up. Held up. Do you know a uh, short PA, short C PA yeah, beer sure, or whatever? Yeah, sure, of course I know. Isn't he the guy that says like he like makes fun of calls us like freshies because we drink them fresh? Yeah, like he like stores them. <laughs> yeah, tired hands. He thinks it, it says like drink fresh on should the be thing. Drink, it should be consumed fresh. Like let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at that hill farm. I'll give you, I'll give you a for instance. Right? Was he saying like it's too loud? So hill fresh? farm tells you to drink by. So this beer was produced on nine nine. Drink by ten twenty one. So like a month and a half. Yeah. But this will That's last. Crazy. This will last longer than that, you know. And then I brought over something from the Alchemist for you guys to try. This might be the best beer I've had this year. Okay. I'm so Skadush. This is Skadush 33. So they've okay. made 32 other Skadushes. They, wow. they come out with this beer a few times a year. This is all mosaic, okay. which is which that Hill Farms all mosaic. So we can do a little comparison tasting, Ooh. right? Um, and the Alchemist for me, you know, like the Alchemist started in 2003. And that's around the time I moved back to Philadelphia and going up to visit my parents, I would go see the Alchemist and I'd get their beers. Hetty Topper mm -hmm. was like 100 IBUs and it was just like, it was hard to drink, it was uncomfortable, but yeah, you felt like you had to do it, you know? Um, and so uh, it was it was really interesting. And then I, I had never been to their new, their new place in Stowe, Vermont. So it was cool to go there that day. And I went to get that Honey IPA. I don't know if you saw that post I made about the Honey IPA. I don't think so. Um, they made this Honey IPA that supports uh, solar solar farms. 
Oh, and, wow. uh, so the cool thing about solar farms, besides the fact that they're collecting solar energy, is that they um, they promote um, pollinating insects like okay. bees and what have you. And That's so cool. they they um, they bought 110 pounds of honey from a small farm on a, from a small solar farm. And they made this honey beer, and then 27% of the proceeds of each bottle goes back to that honey farm. So they're donating it to the honey farm. 27%. That's $3, bees, $3 per bottle save they're giving bees. back. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, save the bees, man. Yeah. yeah. Lord we knows need we bees. need that. They're, they're going, they're going quick. If you like corn, you better save the bees. Exactly. So. Amen to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers. What do you guys think of that uh, milkshake? It's excellent. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's like, look at the color on this, people. It's oh, like, yeah. psh, what is it? Raspberry green tea milkshake. It's uh, excellent. It's it's different. You know what I mean? Like, I like when they do different Me shit. too. Not that signature tired yeah. hands. Like, yeah. Do you no, think like a like, foundation yeah. taste, You know what I mean? <laughs> you yeah. think like, no, I love that. Every though. brewery has like a base that they use for like all their beers. You, most like, of the time they do. like pretty yeah. similar. Yeah, like, most, that, most that of the time they do. Taste, yeah, you know most of the time they do. As a matter of fact, I just heard today or uh, this weekend that the answer buys their base from Vale. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, oh, shit. But, uh, um, Controversy. Most most places have sort of a standardized way of producing beer and, the, and um, you know, I mean, the thing about Tired Hands, and it's not unusual, I think that that's, that's the case with all the great brewers, is that they brewed somewhere else first. I mean, Gene, he has a long history of brewing great beer. I mean, Wirebacker and uh, with Victory, and, and he, you know, he. It's not like he oh, yeah, just he, started. He worked for Victory, right? It's not. It's not like yeah. It's not like he just started Tired Hands out of the blue. You know, he was one of the best brewers in this area, and like Sean Hill at, from Hill Farmstead, you know, he went to school at Haverford College, so that's you know that's his connection to Tired mm -hmm. Hands, and um, and then he worked in Denmark. For one of the great brewers of all time, um, before he came back to the United States and opened Hill Farmstead. So, um, oh, Hill Farmstead been there before? They're having their 10 year anniversary okay. next year. Okay. Um, and so it's been nine years open, but his parents, his, his family, not his parents, his family, he's in the eighth generation of Hills. Okay. And so if you go back to 1809, his family opened the first tavern in Greensboro, Vermont. Oh, shit. So Holy they've been shit. brewers their whole lives. And the cool, one of the cool, unique things about Hill Farm is that all their beers are named after family members. So, like, they have Arthur and Anna and Florence and Esther, and so their their beers are named after family members, and they and they they give a little story of why they named that beer that That's way. Awesome. So, I love pretty, it, love, love it, yeah, I love that. We're gonna uh, take a little break, and we'll be right back. I gotta reset the camera. This is a good conversation, man. Cheers. What's up, everybody? We're back. Yeah, yeah. We're cracking up, and what's it called? This is uh, Hill Farmstead, Society and Solitude number six. It is a uh, Mosaic Imperial IPA, which means it's going to be a, uh, somewhere about eight eight point four percent. Greensboro, Vermont. That's correct. This is the best brewery in the Spotify world. You're it, it, you know, I, well, I'm going to say the best brewery in America. It, it, it would be more. There'd be more arguments that are strong arguments that uh, for other breweries, but. Um, you know, you think? For, well, yeah, in in Belvoir, yeah, there, there are there are some really great brewers. And, I mean, I don't I don't really care for their beer that much, but well, <laughs> you're so, talking about like German. I'm just talking about like my personal, yeah, you know, my personal opinion. We're we're Hayes boys, or we're Hayes bros. Oh. Me and Dolan are Hayes bros. Cheers. Cheers, guys. We're all Hayes bros. Smooth, very very smooth, but really hoppy and hoppy. Yep, reminds me of that's very good. My bad. Reminds me of like a beer I've had before. You ever like this Melvin? Melvin? Mm-hmm. I have. It kind of tastes like that, but like way, way more like intense. Way more um. Way more like. Clean. Better ingredients and clean. Yeah, yeah, better ingredients and clean, yeah. So, I mean, I think that that's one of the reasons that that, that, oh, that this beer is so good. It's so smooth, too. I, I'm like... is Think about where this water's coming not, from. I mean, this is like, you're not going to get doesn't, it doesn't, pure water. It doesn't there. taste too carbony. In middle like of nowhere, beers, too. northern Vermont. I don't know if you agree with me on that. What's that? It doesn't taste too carbonated as other beers. Like, it's more right. smooth, it's smoother on the stomach. I've noticed. 
flavors. I just chug that and I'm like, not like burping whatsoever. It's very smooth. I like it. Kind of like nutty. You ever have like Founders Centennial? Uh, yep. Kind of reminds me of that too. I like it. <laughs> so, a There's beer, a a beer that Tired Hands produces that is similar to this is um, Extra Extra Knuckle. Yep. I love that one. So it's an all mosaic. It's sort of a, the same premise. I can't even it's, found it's, any type it's foundation. The the difference, the, one of the big differences, I think, is in the in, in the malt and the combination and the and the, the mixture of their um, uh, what they're with their uh, grist and what they're doing. I think <laughs> for, is is completely different. Um, so yeah, no, I feel you on that. Though. I agree, hundred percent. This beer, can we do a rating on this beer? You guys want to? No, do you rating? guys. Yeah, we've got. I, I did a rating on this I beer know, last night. You're right. You're right. You're right. I did a rating on this. You beer don't want to do night. a? What was it? Nine point two. Wow. Wow. I'm going. I'm going straight eight seven on this. I was gonna say eight point eight or so, eight eight. Yeah, really? Eight, I'm going. Yeah, eight eight. Huh? eight it's eight, kind eight, of different eight. for me because I'm used to like the more like. But this beer is juicier. This is, this beer this is, is dry. You're absolutely That's what right. I'm saying. This is a great dry, beer, natural beer. Like this is the hazy milkshake IPAs. They're more so. They're more like they're juiced up with lactose and all these. Not necessarily. Not all of them. Not all of them. Yeah, you're right. But like they have all like different. Like they have strawberry puree, Madagascar. Well, the, the milkshakes. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So, but this beer is just like perfect for just the straight mosaic. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I, I can't tell is. the difference between the hops. Really? I have to get more experience. Yeah, I'm not. Because oh, you know mix too many so, in one. You have to I have can understand get that. the That's single a, yeah. one, so you can be like, all right, That's this is what the key with doing the single. And so, and they, and they do a lot of. So they also have a lineup of uh, beers that they do that are focused on just hops. So I, at home, I also have a double Ruwaka, which is a, a particular hop. They've done Citra, Galaxy. They've done them all, and they usually do a single and a double in each mm -hmm. style hop. And I think that that absolutely drinking them will help train your palate on absolutely. what these different hops taste like. Other, other people, brewers do it. That's why Cobra does a great yeah. single hop series. It's I just had the. Uh, have you seen this man from the Cobra? Yes, yeah, it, they make good beer. They it was it was kind of like it wasn't a juicy one. It was like a bitter one. Okay. I mean, it was decent, but I'm just not used to that. I'm used right. to like milkshakes. And Sweet. I'm spoiled, man. I, I've so have you, have you ever had? Have you had some trillions? And no, uh, I, no. I never had um, a trial. Or uh, other half? I had other half once. I had so, it, no twice. So trillion, I had a once. trillium and other half. You guys should seek those out. You know, like three go, times. Actually. If you if you if you're on um, like, I mean, you you could. You could probably get those pretty easy. Just people at Tired Hands. They go to Tired Hands. They they have they have a lot. We're of on this hat. Facebook group where this guy goes around getting Treehouse, Trillium, other hands. Talk louder so the camera can. Hurt. Yeah, <laughs> I know this guy that goes around on Facebook group that gets a uh, Treehouse, Equilibrium, other half, all those beers. Flips them for like thirty or four pack, where you can do mix and matches for like. Yeah, I, I mean, you could do that, but you can also just trade beer, I guess. I mean, you know. Yeah. I've been like kind of shaded trade out beer. about trading beer because everyone I talk to, they want me to get them all this shit, and like, like I get them the beer here, and then they get me the beer, and we just trade straight up. And yeah. Money involved. Right. That's how it's done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I was kind of shaded out about like shipping it. Cause like it's gonna be warm. Some of these like at, at Levante it says like to keep it cold. And not, well, not Levante totally will ship for you. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. So like you know that's a beauty. That's a beautiful thing because you can make a tray with somebody. I could just put in and, their shit. and then put in their yeah. shit and yeah. have it sent to their house. I've just sure. always been shaded out. About and Dudley too for tight yeah. hands. Do it for you could do the same thing. Yeah. So yeah. As long as they live in Pennsylvania, that's sure. the key. They, won't, they those places can't right. ship outside of Pennsylvania. Right. right. Cause you're not you're not really allowed to ship beer across state lines. I have no idea if you're allowed to or not. I've looked it up but, before. But I do know that that happens a lot. It it <laughs> happens a shit ton from what I've been seeing lately. But I, I don't know if you're allowed to do it or not. And like large quantity, like that dude he's saying, he fucking yeah he he goes to like he'll take trips up to Massachusetts. It's almost 
I'd rather just hit that guy up. And well, that's what I do, right? So you get that you know, middle middleman. Guy. So the next time I go up there, I can let you guys know I'm going up there. And if you guys want to, you know, you want to chip in, give me some money. I'll, I'll bring to go you there. back. I'd love to stuff. take a trip up there too, eventually. One of these yeah, days. I mean, usually when I when I go, it's a pretty quick situation. Like I can go, I can <clears throat> I can leave the house two thirty in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, go straight to Hill Farm, right. and then from Hill Farm go to Alchemist. <laughs> You can go to, and then in, oh, you can go to foam, foam in Burlington. <laughs> Dude, and, I would love that road trip. You know, you could do all that, hours, and then and then you just like spend the night in Burlington, trip. and yeah. then the next morning you wake up, you drive down to Treehouse, yeah. go to Treehouse, and then go to other half, yeah, and then come home. Yeah, and they get tired, and, <laughs> and they could, you know, and that's a pretty that's two day, it's a two day trip. <laughs> I would love that. Dude. It's a two day trip. Save up like a thousand dollars. Yeah, a thousand. Do you guys hear these people over here? We got tired down. hands right down the street. So why make the trip? Uh, I can't do it, man. I you just gotta, can't. you gotta make the trip. If you guys all want to go in, I'd definitely move down. But I'm not gonna drive up there myself. No, that's what I'm saying. Like if it, you know, you, if I go, I mean, I'm gonna go because my parents live up there. So yeah. you might, you know, yeah, I can might, let you guys you know. That's well. how, that's how it works. It's a nice little getaway. And you get to see your parents. Yeah. And it's a whole vacation, subculture. Vacation. This is like. That craft beer culture is a, its own shit now. Yeah, it's like I agree with you. It's like a cult. Even the even the hazy I, a hazy milkshake IPAs are their own little subculture. Yeah. yeah, they have their own little cult following for that too. Oh, there's 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 so many levels. Of, Stouts of beer saisons. You know. I mean, Every, you, yeah. you know, what do you think of saisons? I mean, I have to be in the mood for a saison. I don't I order do one. It. I don't order one. I never up. tried a saison, to be honest with you. It tastes like wine, dude. It's like eleven percent. Like you can taste the alcohol in it, basically. Yeah. In the environments where I get to taste really high True. quality beers, like uh, you know, a, a wild farmhouse ale or a saison, in those environments, I enjoy the amount that I'm tasting. Like that's good. Just like I just don't think I would want a bottle yeah, exactly. to sit yeah, down with a bottle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. So I, I can understand when I drink it. Like wow, this is really high quality. It's the flavors are there. Like I just it's just not what I'm looking for in a beer. I'm looking for an IPA. You know, that's the flavor I want. We want the IPAs. You hear that, people? Yes, sir. And I love stouts. And I was gonna bring a stout too. Take taste, notes, but, people. Oh yeah. It's, it's cool. It's man. all good. I'd rather drink. Do you want to try ones. that other one? I do want to try that other one. Yeah. All right, we're back. We're cracking the oh, man. skadoosh. Sorry. Skadoosh. By the alchemist. How did you pronounce it? Uh, skadoosh. 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 And uh, and and John Kimish, who uh, is the brewer and one of the co-owners of the alchemist, he and his wife Jen own it. This uh, brewery started in 2003. Okay. Six as just a brew pub, 60 seats. Um, and they just were making this incredible beer. They decided to open, expand to another brewer that had incredible beer. It was called Hetty Copper. I've had that before. One of the best IPAs. It's like commercial. I though, mean, like, it? you know, just in my opinion, it is um, set the groundwork for where we are on the East Coast today. We're killing it on the East Coast. Um, I'm not all about those West Coast IPAs. So, you, I mean, right away you're gonna notice the difference in the color, a much lighter color. Mm -hmm. um, this is also all mosaic, all so mosaic. this this flavor should be similar to the flavor in the Hill Farm, but there are a lot of components to this that are different. As a matter of fact, if you watch the video on, uh, that John puts out, when he puts out a new beer, he makes a video about it and he talks about it. Um, awesome. He uh, on what platform? YouTube? Uh, well, on Instagram. On Instagram. Anyway, just follow him on Instagram. It's awesome. on there. It's on YouTube. Yeah, it's it's on their website, um, and. Uh, he talks about some of the different, some of the changes he made, which are a little bit beyond my growing capabilities. <laughs> um, and uh, certainly check it out though, if you're into that sort of thing. But one of the things sure. that really attracted to me is just the double dry hopping um, with, with mosaic. And it just, it just so pops out of the spear of the mosaic. Um, so you, you know, you're gonna taste uh, tropical bright fruits, you know? So you're gonna taste like an unripe mango, not a ripe mango, you're gonna taste like a, 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 a really sweet grapefruit or a, a really sweet orange uh, <laughs> and uh, and and possibly you you know you may even taste if we're lucky a little bit of like cantaloupe okay if we're lucky let's do it I'm pouring it up and peach it may come off as peach too okay wow I can dig it I wanted to ask you uh, do you have 
you brewed your own stuff before, right? I have. I really focused on uh, Hefeweizens. I was really into Hefeweizens at the time, and it, I don't know why I fell into the Hefeweizen. I, would, I, I loved um, German and Czechoslovakian beers, and um, and uh, kind of fell into the, the Hefeweizen. I found a great Czechoslovakian uh, bundle of hops uh, and uh, brew kit that um, uh, worked really well, made it, it was easy, and uh, I could get like 6.2%, which is pretty high. Um, awesome, I got an IPA kit, I never used it. Okay, do you, um, have, you have everything? I don't know if the hops are, probably, they're probably not good. It's no. like a year old. Yeah, probably not, but the hops, you can buy There's that. like a hop store. Hops are actually down. expensive, but you can buy a little bit, a little farm. I've always been uh, interested it in amazing. those. So. Cheers, guys. Amazing. Okay, cheers. cheers, fellas. It does smell amazing. I think it smells a little more oh like peach God. than anything. Can I, can I tell you something? The first thing that it reminds me of is other half, right off the bat. I don't really? Know. It yeah, doesn't, get, it doesn't get, taste like that other one that we just I had. Get, I, get the other, I get other half taste it's off man. that. I don't know if you had other had ever had other half showers. That uh, that IPA, it's like a 7.4, I think. Oh, well, reminds yes. me of that. Okay. Okay. Well, reminds well, me and of that. It could be, because showers, showers, um, you had that one. the hops vary. Showers. Yeah, they this vary, reminds I think me they of the vary the hops up in showers. So, um, this beer is amazing now. Um, I got nostalgia from the other half showers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it, I think that they are able to maintain their profile, which is pretty impressive because Hetty Topper is like completely different than these beers. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah. But this this is sort of noticeably theirs, the Alchemist. It's so clean. Like the, again, the water, very clean. It's so clean. That's what I noticed right off top was. Yeah. Like a watery, yeah. like it, it's like hydrating. Sure. It's like your body recognizes mm -hmm. that it's clean water. Cause we don't get shit like that. Even when you buy like essential water or Fiji water, it ain't like this water. This right. no, this is yeah. like water. ionized, Mountain fucking water. charged <laughs> naturally, by nature. like ch like charcoal yeah. cleaned. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. Another level. That's crazy that you bring up the thing about the water because I, I, I haven't really heard that. Yeah, I never like really I heard that, that before with like bourbon and shit like right. that. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I mean there are some there are now some very good IPAs coming out of Florida. I never took into consideration the water. Yeah, but uh, really I, I, I would love to know what kind of water filtration system some of these great some of the some of the breweries like there's a brewery in Florida called Calusa. I think they're making a really good solid IPA, um, like an excellent IPA actually, and. Um, I wonder what kind of water filtration system they have because their water is horrible and uh, getting worse. And I think that's one of the reasons why the, maybe the stouts are so good in Florida. Like they, some of the brewers down in Florida have perfected stouts, mm -hmm. like Cycle Brewing, Angry Chair, which I was going to bring. That was what I was going to bring over is an Angry Chair, cho uh, chocolate brownie imperial stout they made. <sighs> And I just, I knew there was no way. If I whipped that out right now, we're drinking like 15%, like yeah. I wouldn't be going home. You know? <laughs> <laughs> We'd be tipsy for sure. So, we'll let's do crazy, that one another though. time. Yeah, for sure. Do you think it's like reverse osmosis that they use, or do you think it's like natural I, water, where it's in charged with in mineral? Florida? In Florida, I'm thinking reverse I don't know, osmosis. I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm I'm exaggerating the problems in Florida. The problem in Florida is that every in Florida is it sits on a giant aquifer, which is like a sponge, yeah. and the sponge is drying out, and so. Can you imagine what sponge water was is like as it dries out? Like stagnant. You know, nice. yeah. So yeah, it's kind of like I mean, I know it's being I know there's still movement and it's still being purified, but it's not as opposed it's to not Vermont the way, where it's like oh my god, snow it's melt freaking, yeah, fucking absolutely. Basically like glacier water. Absolutely. <laughs> spring best natural spring water. You yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. That's crazy. That's a good point, though, about the water, man. Yeah, I never I took that into that. consideration. And like pH. Well, have you ever had? Shit. Have you ever had some of the brewers from Asheville, North Carolina? No. Like, uh, so uh, Asheville, North Carolina. If you guys want to make a trip, man, that's the trip. You're talking the highest mountain east of the Mississippi River is in Asheville, North Carolina, Mount Mitchell. Okay. S yeah, yeah. Seventy-two like, over seventy-two hundred yeah. feet. You can go up there. You can drive all the way to the top. So you get, you know, you can be on top of the United States on the eastern part of the United States, and then. A short 15 minute drive into Asheville, and you can park your car and go to like seven breweries on your feet. Oh my God. There's like 12, 13 great breweries in Asheville. Like a nine Wicked hour Weed, drive. Uh, Wicked Weed, incredible. Burial, incredible. Green Man, incredible. Twin Weed. Leaf, incredible. Uh, Wedge, incredible. Like 
these brew. I, I mean, it's just a great weekend, man. Like, like that's they, the weekend. Where they specialize in those breweries? So, I mean, Green Man is sort of the first one. It's more of a West Coast style IPA, okay, they, like but they do everything. They do everything. They do lagers and pilsners. But Wicked Weed, Wicked I Weed is per pernicious. Wicked Weed. Yeah, so Wicked Weed has won a bunch of Pretty awards. Pernicious is freaking incredible. And they now they make a tr uh, triple that is called uh, some. It's a play off of Pernicious, and and it's amazing. It won a bunch of awards this year too. So I mean, they're they're playing at a high level. Wicked Weed. Uh, Burial is a smaller craft. They haven't expanded as much, but they make super high. I quality like smaller. Beer. Shit. They're sort of kind of keeping. They're, well, they're and it's their choice, you know, like. They could go as much they, as they yeah, want. They, you know, could. they make great beer barrel. But they, um, if they did it, it, the quality suffers. Don't you think the bigger a brewery gets? No, I don't. I mean, it doesn't have to. Once you're on the commercial level, it, it, it doesn't have to. What has to happen is that there has to be continuous improvement. That's all that has to happen. I mean, Treehouse right now is a great example of this. It's when competitive Tree, now. When Treehouse moved, when Treehouse moved from their small brewery to their current brewery. It's huge, isn't it? It was, it, was, it was such a massive change in the level of production that it's not just math. It's not like you could say, okay, I used four liters back there, so I'm now I'm just gonna use 32 liters because I'm eight times bigger. Yeah. Like it's not, that no. it doesn't work that way. No. And so there's a level, a period of adjustment. Now some customers give up during that period of adjustment. They're like, oh, these guys aren't gonna figure it out. <laughs> and they and they kind of move on to the next guy because there's right. so much competition. Yeah. And then other places make the adjustment faster, and they're able to kind of continue to continue to grow to the next level. But that adjustment is going to continue as they continue to grow. That adjustment's going to happen. Whether now like Trillium, they're kind of doing it a different way. So Trillium is growing by just opening more breweries, which is the way Firestone Walker did it. You know, open a brewery the that's Monte a just restaurant. just opened that one in Delaware. Yeah. So. That's a, you know that's a different way to grow and allows you to produce more beer, grow your business. They, they still make the beer in each brewery though, right? Or uh, they all it depends. Some of them don't do it that way, and some of them do do it that way. Um, and so Trillium brews at both breweries, but one is much much more bit once bigger. One of the breweries is bigger, so they make much more yeah. of their beer there. Right. Um, and so. And, but Trillium is a beer I think you guys would like. It's a little bit sweeter than like what we just had here. You know, I think it's a little bit more in the profile that you guys would really like. They make a high like quality the beer. Cheese. They use high quality products. Um, you know, Trillium's definitely not Boston, getting out of the park. Correct. They have uh, so they're they're they have one close to Boston. Okay. I can't remember. It's Canton and like can't remember the rating other. I can't get over how refreshing. You want to do a was. rating for this? I would, I would say that was refreshing. Can I do my? I'll yes, do my go for it. I'm giving this a 9.2. All right. 9.2? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm laughing about. It's very refreshing, hydrating. Man. If if this wasn't fucking beer and just water, it would probably be like a 10. <laughs> Let me just say that. <laughs> but I'm going to give this, what did you give it, 9.2? I think it's like a 9.3, man, honestly. Wow. There you That's go. what I gave it, a 9.3. It's not, it's not... Like, it's they're not trying to cover anything up with all this lactose and shit. Right, it's just there. It's just, it's just, just fucking yeah, good hoppy as fuck. Hits you with the hops. Refreshing. It's more refreshing than refreshing is. <laughs> it Honestly. is. If You're that right. makes sense. You're absolutely it's, correct. It is. You're absolutely correct. Like, refreshing is on that level, too, where it's, like, thick and smooth. You're absolutely correct. But it's there's no lactose. And this is even, like, this is just... The refreshing's not even that thick. I mean, you know, refreshing extra, extra is thicker than this. For oh, sure. way thicker! Absolutely, this is like thin Absolutely. and like. Absolutely, it hydrating. just gets the job done, man. Yeah. I, I, the mouthfeel of both of these is different, don't you think? Yeah. All, of them, all the ones we had, there, every single one of them was different. Yeah, right? like, yeah, different mouthfeel. Good night of drink. I love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good night of drink. I'm probably gonna keep going, honestly. I, I mean, might, but I'll be make another <laughs> burger. Then. I might, but I mean, I'm, I'll be sitting in front of Survivor, watching Survivor. Survivor. <laughs> that's that's the thing. That's All the right, thing that Rick, she likes to do. It was a pleasure having you on man, the podcast. Yeah, man, very, very informational. Nice.